There are about three or four places in the world that could have done a total artificial heart in a child like we did at Columbia. In the typical heart transplant, the surgeon opens the chest, removes the failing heart, and puts in a living, beating donor heart. It looks the same, it's, it's a human heart. In this case, I recognize this was very different. Dr. Bosch is taking out the failing heart of this child and putting in a mechanical device, a machine essentially, and that's just very different from what we normally do. Our patient had a heart transplant several years ago and unfortunately has suffered from very, very bad chronic rejection episodes to the degree that she was almost dying either from the rejection or from the very high level medication needed to combat the rejection that she was having against her transplanted heart. What the total artificial heart lets us do is um, stop all immunosuppression, which is very exciting for us because that allows the immune system to be quiet. So what's exciting for us is this device would give her the opportunity to completely rehabilitate, so physically all of her vital organs, and then to stop immunosuppression. So she was really, I'd say, a perfect candidate for the device. Columbia has always had an extraordinary focus on pediatric heart and on innovation in pediatric heart. Really in trying to go as far as conceivably possible to bring benefit to children who quite frankly may not be able to survive otherwise. We've had devices that uh, mimic parts of the heart. We've had artificial heart valves. We've had devices that mimic a heart wall but we've never been able to replace the entirety of the heart. It's incredibly complex. So this is a huge engineering feat because you have valves that need to open and close. You need to pump the blood out towards the lungs or out towards the body. Um, and all of that while keeping the blood appropriately thin so you don't develop blood clots and all of the other complications. So it, it's a huge feat of uh, engineering. We knew we were gonna encounter a patient that would be suitable for the total artificial heart. So we had been actually preparing for about a year, uh, training and, and going through the protocols and working with the company in order to be ready. Uh, she's a teenager, so she's not a preteen or an infant, and therefore her chest cavity is a bit bigger. And the indication was exactly the correct one for a total artificial heart because we had to remove her own heart from her chest because that was the offending organ. I think one of the most satisfying things for me is to have families trust us enough and I think that starts with, with an honest conversation about what we can and can't do and then to, to try it together. Will the experiences gained today provide long-lasting, long-lived artificial solutions? If it is going to happen, it's going to emerge from Columbia.